Cross country is into the final stretch of its season. The women are up to number 28 in the U.S. Track and Field and Cross Country Coaches Association poll, their first ranking since 2014. 2014, also the last year Toledo captured a MAC title. As the Rockets prepare for this year's conference championship, they're ready to make their own run at the record books. It's been a journey for Toledo women's cross country, full of twists and turns. We came in with some big ideas and some big plans, and some of it was pretty scary, and we really challenged these women, and they've really r risen you know, to the occasion with that. Um, they've embraced the challenge, and they have not shied away at all um, from, hey, we, we don't wanna just talk about MAC championships, that's important to us, but we wanna talk about even bigger goals, right? And that's the national championship. In her third year as the head coach of the program, Andrea Grove McDonough has the Rockets on the rise. Ranked for the first time in seven seasons, it's been a step-by-step -step process that is starting to pay off. We've talked so much, like just verbally, the last couple years of the goals and the things and the direction that we have for this um, program and being able to watch that actually happen. And this is a huge step like into what we're planning and this is just the beginning. And going from winning this conference to making NCAAs is, we're changing a lot this year. <laughs> The Rockets returned their top seven runners from the team that finished second at last year's MAC championship meet, just three points behind champion Northern Illinois. I think a year ago, you know, we were a little bit intimidated of some situations, but I've seen so much growth in that area. I keep talking about that. Just a team that hasn't had a lot of experience is running like a team that's been there before. This season, Toledo has been paced by a pair of Kenyan natives, Faith Linga and two-time MAC runner of the week, Joy Churcher. Faith is incredibly supportive and she's kind of like a mom you know, and she's really positive all the time at practice um, and is always encouraging our teammates in practice and on the course in a race to get up with her, you know, to hang with her. Joy, a little bit of luck, a little bit of hard work, you know, and, and circumstance. My assistant Nick had a couple connections uh, to some former athletes that are from Kenya, um, kind of hooked us up with Joy. In our team, I think they are really doing good and I like the team because they, they push each other and they, they are really doing the right thing. Yeah. Running here, I, I really like running here with my um, teammates. They are good, they are supportive. Together, alongside their teammates, they've helped set a new course for the direction of the program. It really feels like we got the wind at our back right now. Truth is, we're still kind of underdogs. Um, we're still hanging on to that national rank right at the bottom. Um, teams we beat this season are in fact ranked ahead of us, so um, I really like the idea of us having a bit of a chip on our shoulder about this. It feels like we have to keep going out there to proving we're as good as we are. Um, I think there's still a little bit of doubt, could Toledo really be this good? Um, so the plan is to prove it on the day. The Rockets will get that chance when the rubber meets the road at this year's MAC Championships beginning October 30th.